Hello, back again to do another unboxing and review. Today we're going to look at the brand new pair of earbuds I just received, the V1S, from the brand VJJB, and that comes from Long Texan Electronics Hong Kong. So yes, I had to have these imported, and um, you might be asking, VJJB, never heard of them. And actually, I never heard of them either until I decided to buy these. And the reason I decided to buy these is because they had very prominently advertised a feature that these earbuds have that I actually haven't seen hardly any earbuds here in the States do the same. So, and that will become obvious once we open them up. But before we go there, let's look at the packaging and the presentation. So, um, right away holding it, um, I'm impressed. We have a nice hard box here. As you can probably see by the reflection, this is laminated. I know, not the biggest thing in the world, but keep in mind, a lot of uh, boxes, they'll come that laminated. They'll have a little sticker holding the lid to the base, but this one is laminated. Um, okay, on the top there, you have, it might not be coming up on camera, but this is an authorized distributor sticker. So, okay, and then if you look here, you can see there's a pattern. Um, kind of a circular on circles on circles pattern there, okay? And that is a raised pattern, you can feel it. All right, going to the back. Well, V1S, if you wondered what these were, doesn't get more plain than that. Um, and But other than that, you just have a little QR code there, um, some information about the company and whatever. And um, yeah, pretty simplistic. And then on the sides, this minimalist um, styling continues all the way around. So, all right. Um, it's nice and no, it's about the weight you'd expect, maybe a tad bit heavier due to the good quality box. So, all right, so far so good. And let's open it up. All right, so I just took off the shrink wrap. Yeah, it's on there nice and tight. Let me. So. That should do it. Okay. So greeting us as soon as we open the box. Uh, this appears to be an instruction manual. We got some QR codes there in the front. Of course, it's all in Chinese as far as the text goes. Um, this, this manual is actually kind of beefy. Um, let's quickly flip through it. All right, so it is in multiple languages, which is good. Um, let's see here. Oh, and the languages are separated by these pages, so you know where right to where to go. Um, it says English there. So. Okay. But now let's look at the actual item. Wow. All right. So. <laughs> okay, we have quite the selection of the little um, pads you put in your ears there. The little cushions. It looks like we have on the bottom here, smallest to big, of course. But then at the top, um, you have these different ones. These actually, I don't know if you can, yeah, you see there. They're not only different shape, but they almost appear to be maybe even a different material. But they do seem to be longer than the um, more mushroom-like ones down here. So, okay, so we have, what is that, <laughs> uh, six different uh, sizes and slash styles. Um, oh, and there's already one on the actual device itself, so, okay, um, let's, let's sit on a tray here. Okay, um, I don't want to take it out in one chunk. Oh, okay, okay, so the main tray with all these stick can basically stay in the box, and you can just take out this part with the actual earbuds on it. Underneath, you have a little pouch. Yeah, with uh, there you go, the brand name on it. The um, pouch has these little beads on there. That's nice. Okay, um, so back to the main thing here. Um, all right, cord. Look at the cord. Wow. Okay, so the the 3.5 millimeter jack has like a little condomy thing protecting it. That's cool. I like it. This shows a little extra care, right? Okay, so um, it appears to be gold-plated. Um, I'll have to look into it if it actually is, but uh, it looks to be quality. Uh, okay, the cable, as you see, has one of these little um, Velcro wrappers to keep it, okay, 
keep that. And there's the cord. And as you can see, it has this, um, it looks like it's braided inside the, the wire, but on the out surface, it has this, um, yeah, kind of clear, um, I wouldn't say rubber, but you get the idea. It's this kind of protective coating that goes over the whole thing. It makes it, uh, yeah, make it, it's not super slippery, but at the same time, it's not super grabby. So it should be able to slide over things without getting caught. Now go to the, this must be the microphone. Oops, no, that's not. Uh, the mic's here. Sorry about that. Uh, what this is, is, okay, that's where it splits. Okay, to the right and left. So going up here. Here's the, um, yeah, so the mic is, well, you can see the mic, and then there's the button to push, push, answer call, hang up call, whatnot. Uh, okay, there's a little sliding collar here. Um, okay. Oh, I guess you could probably slide that down to meet this, maybe. Oh, there you go. Yeah, okay. And, all right, going up here. Got a little, again, a little sticker holding them in. It's kind of a little seal type thing. Take that off. I'll keep that. Okay. Pop them out here. Don't want to pull them by the cord. Uh, Alright. I'm going to kind of push them out from the back. They're in there actually quite tight. Okay. All right, so I got them out. I had to make cuts in the sides in order not to pull on the wire. All right, so here they are. And there is probably, now you can see the special feature that these have over most earbuds. Yes, each one of these has dual drivers, not just a single driver. And what you're seeing there is these are six, mil six millimeters each. Okay, so they're actually pretty light. Um, there's a few other earbuds that I'm going to bring out in order to do a comparison. And these are actually lighter well, than the metal ones that um, I'm going to compare them to. So, yes. So, although this looks shiny here, this isn't metal. It's, yeah. Okay. And you can see that there's this angle. If you look at it from the top down, the part that goes in your ear is angled from the drivers. So, assuming they put some engineering into that angle and optimize the sound and all that good stuff, but... It is noticeable. Okay, so, um, well, there's only one thing to do now is to try them out, right? All right, so I've had the chance to use these for a little bit, and I've also tested them on numerous devices, and then of those devices, I've had them in different modes. So I think I got a pretty good idea of what these can do. Uh, also, before we go any further, I wanted to show you this. Um, I took off the cushion, as you can see, so you can better get a look at those drivers which they are really showing off, you know, with the clear housing, which is a smart move because that's the reason I bought them, right? So it must have worked. Also, you can see they have um, that mesh there um, behind where the cushion goes. Okay, so um, now I was trying to find a way of testing these out and giving um, you, the viewer, a better idea of how they compare to one another. So I'll, of course, give you my, my critique on the experience I had with them, but as a way of demoing it, I thought maybe a good idea would be a comparison test, of course. So what I have here are two other pair of earbuds. Here's one pair, and here's another. All right, so, and what I was gonna do is hook them up to this MP3 player, and if you haven't seen my videos before, I use this MP3 player because um, it, it does a decent job, but it doesn't have all the um, amplification and the more modern technology so we get a better idea of what these earbuds can do without introducing um, improvements um, by the player itself and all right so it's I guess to limit the variables right all right so what I was going to do is connect each pair of the earbuds to the mp3 player 
have the earbuds close to the microphone on my smartphone, which has an app that allows me to sample sound and tell how loud it is and whatnot. And I'm going to play the same music clip, and then we'll maybe be able to see that maybe uh, these are more powerful than these, but not, you know, it's whatever. Now, um, I know it's just one measure, right? Amplitude of, you know, volume, but it's at least something we can try. And, um, all right, what else was no Oh, so we should talk about the different earbuds I'm testing, right? Okay, so of course we already know about these, the ones I'm testing. But the other two um, will be, I try to get kind of a spectrum going here. So on one end, these are like the El Cheapo earbuds that come with, it actually came with an MP3 player, one of the many that I have. I don't remember what one, but um, yeah, so these were the included. You know, they get you going, you know, and out the door, but don't expect too much quality out of them, and that's why I selected these. So that'll be our, I guess, lower end. And then over here, I have some relatively priced um, earbuds. These are from iHome. These are the IB18s, and yes, they have the metal, um, metal um, shell. And uh, these are, I would say, about, they're decent, they're good. I won't say they're the best by any means, but I think that they're, um, well, let's get a price point, right? These um, retail for, what, two, two, I think like 24 bucks. So, and $25. Okay, and uh, yeah, so I'll go ahead and record the numbers I get, and then I'll go ahead and put it up. And also, of course, I will have the specs, the actual specs for these. All right, so I just finished doing the test as I described, and I was using this program, or as people call it, application, um, to get my readings. And as you can see, it responds to an increase in volume. Okay, so, okay, so how did the results come out? Well, let's go start with the lower pair, or the cheap pair. Um, and oh, to how I position these is I got I got the right earbud of each set, and I pushed the cushion right up to the bottom of my phone where the mic is. So essentially, they were touching, kissing one another. So there should have been no loss or as little distortion as possible from any outside noises. And I was being really, really quiet when I did. It. So anyway. Um, so, starting with the cheap pair, um, they had of the same song sample that was played on all three pairs of earbuds, the max volume that came out of this was 81 decibels. Okay, moving up to the um, IB18s or the um, ones from iHome, they had a max peak volume of 84 decibels. And now here we are with the V1Ss they had a max of 88 decibels. So going from the lowest pair, which happened to be the cheapest pair, is 81 decibels all the way up to these guys here, which had 88, that's a seven decibel difference. So um, yeah, they are a little bit louder, um, all things being equal. And well, you kind of expect that with you know two drivers and whatnot. All right, so let me give you my take on my experience with these. Um, so the first thing I did is I hooked them up to my MP3 player, not this one, a better one. Anyway, so I hooked it up to the MP3 player, and, well, I was pleased. They were actually surprisingly clear. Um, the One of the songs I was listening to has, like, sound effects in the background, all right, of the main song. And I was able to hear those sound effects um, while having the song in the forefront, but I was still able to pick out those background noises, which shows that these actually can give you a clear hearing, listening experience. So that's a thumbs up there. But I was a little disappointed because I'm thinking, well, twin drivers, I was expecting a little more power, right? Then I got to thinking, well, maybe let me upgrade the source device where the music's actually coming out of, right? And I hooked it up to this. This is my LG V20. Great phone, by the way. And, um, well, yeah, then these uh, start coming alive. Um, probably the most notable, I listened to a, a couple different types of music, um, and but I think where they stood out the best was when I was listening to a song that is, uh, we'll say, vocal melodic trance. I, most people just group that in the umbrella term of electronica, okay? But as you know, that definitely has a beat, and um, these were able, the rapid beat, and these were able to pick out each hit of that beat, and it was clear enough that you could just detect it from the next hit. So sometimes it kind of just blends together, especially when it really gets rapid, but these were able, th these were able to um, 
distinguish between them so clear again but you also have the power which of course most likely comes from the amp inside the phone now talking speaking of that if you're familiar with the LG 20 you may know that this comes with a quad DAC um, digital analog converter okay and all you have to know is that this essentially makes the sound better um, coming out of the phone than if you didn't have that I actually had that turned off for the majority of the test with this I had that turned off so we're just using the um, not the hi-fi sound but the regular sound that comes out of this which is still very good by the way and so even with the the quad DAC turned off these performed very well so I would say um, that these if you're going to use these um, connect them to a decent quality device like a hi-fi player or most likely your smartphone if you have a more current smartphone and I think you'll get the most out of them so I think these actually need that extra power um, to really show them what they, they can do so would I recommend these yes actually I would if you don't mind waiting a few weeks because most likely you'll have to order them from overseas um, you're going to get some pretty unique headphones, at least at this point, I'm one of the only pair I know of that have twin drivers, at least in this configuration, and um, they actually sound really good. Now, with, again, um, if you're, you know, if you listen to your headphone or earbuds really loud, don't expect that you're going to get twice that volume out of these. Um, in fact, you might not, that might be a good thing because I think the extra, they do give you some extra power, but they make it in a way so it doesn't distort the music you're listening to. So I think they actually engine, did a little engineering in here instead of just doubling the driver. Um, and that's good. Um, so anyway, yeah, I say they're a good pickup and with the price point, um, it's more than reasonable. Uh, it's probably about the same price you'd pay for a comparable set that only has one set of drivers. So I'd say definitely give them a try and actually with their lightweight and oh, I did actually test these using my phone just to make sure the whole mic thing worked, you know, answering calls and that did work. So I'd say they're a pretty good deal and pretty cool looking at that.